Hello again, everyone. In this latest video, I'm going to take a look back, back at the Potter's Bar Bus Garage open days from the years 2010, 2012, 13 and 17. We're starting off with the year 2010. And this is a Bristol LH bus. BL49 was the fleet number. Uh, it's been re-registered here. The original registration was OJD49R. Seen here departing the bus garage in 2010, heading up towards Cuffley, and seen here just returning on the same journey. These original videos are not in full HD. We'll get to some of those clips later on. You'll just have to suffer uh, the lower quality for the earlier clips. Moving on now, a standard uh, uh, RF bus, registration number MXX434. Twenty ten, uh, the year seemed to have enjoyed uh, a nice sunny day at Potter's Bar. See some rainy days on some of the later events a little bit later on. It's the same RF departing the bus garage. Here we have DM1052, registration number GHV52N. Just arriving at the bus garage at the start of the event and uh, here she is leaving. Just taking uh, visitors on a little local trip around Potter's Bar on Route 284. Now this beauty, registration number JXC288, fleet number TV95, is a 1949 Leyland Tiger. Just arriving here at the bus garage. And departing the same bus garage in 2010, the last of our trips from 2010, is AXM693. She's a 1934 AEC Regent. Moving on now to the year of 2012. And it was kind of wet. Which was a shame. Uh, it always makes for some nice video and photos. But uh, disappointing everyone having to shelter inside the bus garage there. Sticking with 2012, the London Country Liveried Routemaster. It's UV 323C. Just arriving at the bus garage here. There's a 1949 built. RT bus, registration number KGK803. And the same RT is departing the bus garage in some more rain taking the visitors out to South Mims. And then we have JXC288 again. We saw that bus earlier on from uh, year 2010. And this bus here is an MCW bodied Daimler fleet line. New in 1973 to London Transport. Registration number MLH426L. Just arriving here at the bus garage and uh, after a brief break, parting, uh, taking a few passengers on a ride, Route 84, 
showing Barnet General Hospital, but uh, not quite sure that's right. We skip now to the year of 2013 or 2013, depending on how you want to pronounce your years. AEC Merlin AML641H delivered new to London Transport in 1969. Osbar High Street here, always very busy for traffic. Really needs uh, a yellow box or something outside the bus garage there to enable service buses uh, that are running to Barnet and various places for, for the normal Metroline operation. Let's make the right turn, but there you go. It's always been busy at Osbar. And another clip from 2013. A Leyland Titan, registration number V101WUV. I drove the Leyland Titan out of Muswell Hill bus garage in the uh, late 80s. Very nice buses. Personally, I prefer driving a Metro bus over a Titan, but uh, no comparison with today's modern stuff. We'll be quite happy to drive these again. And finally now we move into the year 2017, arriving here at the bus garages an AEC Merlin, delivered new to uh, London Transport in 1968, registration number SMM90F. Wearing the country livery, the green country livery as opposed to the red London livery. And the rain has started again as you can see. Same bus, just departing the bus garage on a, on a trip out to Hampton. Grey Green were dominant on the London bus scene in the late 80s and into the 90s. This is a, uh, a Volvo B10M, delivered new in 1988. about to enter the bus garage um, the wrong way. I'm not quite sure why he's driven past the entrance and is going into the exit. Uh, there you go. And here we see arriving uh, at Potter's Bar, RML3, one of the uh, first three Routemaster buses built with the slight, slightly different radiated grille at the front there. Registration number SLT58, delivered new in 1957. And we finish up with today's uh, video. This Volvo Ailsa bus, fleet number V1, was one of uh, three purchased in 1984 by London Transport as part of the bus, going, uh, bus trials going on. Registration number A101SUU. I did like driving these buses. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you've not already done so, please subscribe.